Welcome to Take Care guys. This is Pratik and today we are going to walk through the features of the YBY Renovos custom user interface for Android. Although this phone offers great specification at the price tag of only rupees 12000. We will check that if it's also feature rip in terms of software or not. So, this device is currently running on Android 5.1 Lollipop as you can see right here and uh, no words has been said yet about the marshmallow update. So we are going to walk through the settings of this phone right now. So let's go back to the settings and let's see what's inside. So here in the settings we have uh, some wireless and network settings which looks pretty familiar to any other uh, Android operating system and uh, nothing right here. So what we have here in the sound section some ringtone settings for different sim cards and uh, here is the pocket mode as you can see it automatically increases the volume while in pocket and also the ascending ringtone feature which I like personally and uh, here comes the Dolby Atmos settings right here which is uh, integrated in this phone and uh, you can do lots of customizations right here while on headphones on or off so pretty good and pretty awesome for this device and uh, now coming back to the settings here is the display section we have many useful features in the display section right like this one as you can see right here brightness protection option as you can see i have the display in full brightness and if you tap it the whole screen just darkens and it happens when you are in the lowest display settings also and here is the high sensitivity touch option which is now uh, integrated in many phones out there and uh, we will just check if it uh, works or not so let me put my gloves on first okay with my dirty glove and uh, it's pretty woolly as you can see that uh, it's working like a charm in this phone and uh, uh, no lags or anything and uh, you can see that the thickness of the glove it is pretty much thick and it's working really well on this device so the device uh, display is very very much touch responsive as you can see that and uh, here are some uh, display uh, settings right here uh, and three modes have been given default mode comfort mode and the custom mode so we're going to the custom mode and as you can see you can uh, select the tones of the display and it's getting warmer and uh, it, uh, you can also cool the display as per your uh, opinion and uh, here is the color saturation option and uh, the display saturation is very much good and uh, the smart brightness option is also available here so pretty good stuff the display quality is very good in this phone uh, kudos to Lenovo for giving this and uh, nothing right here except the LED notification light control so coming back to the settings again here is the lock screen settings and uh, as you can see here uh, the vibrate and read notification and pocket dial mode is here and uh, nothing such in this uh, and uh, coming back to the notification settings here are some notification settings as you can see that the display battery indicator in the the battery percentage is shown in the battery indicator so some settings have been given like display current network speed if you are connected to any network your network speed will show up here right here as you can see i am not connected to any network right now so the features right so the quick snap option is very good i found in this phone so let me just take an object and uh, take a snap just you have to do just press any uh, volume key twice and it automatically takes the picture of the object so the camera is open as you can see that it's a very good but the display is still locked so let me just unlock the device first uh, okay so coming back to the features uh, again here is the knock to light or the double tap to wake option and the fingerprint gesture option and uh, i think uh, sorry it's turned off so it won't work but uh, it works pretty well you can uh, uh, set up specific apps or something like that and uh, here is the white touch option as you can see let's just turn it on and uh, here is the some uh, bunch of uh, apps and uh, preloaded settings shown up here and uh, nothing like that here except this and uh, the VR mode is also right here 
so if you are using it with vr it will be familiar uh, with the uh, google vr app so it's just an integrated app in this phone so in the coming back to the settings again here is the permission control you can uh, uh, actually uh, permit any specific app uh, of your uses so here is the fingerprint option so let me just go to the settings first and uh, as you can see that only two fingerprint is supported only two so you can't register uh, more than two fingerprints in, in this phone so the next thing uh, is the security management as you can see that the, the floating button uh, is uh, you can uh, enable the floating button to uh, change the phone's mode to guest mode or to your personal mode so the next thing is the power management which is a very good thing for this phone and uh, you also have the ultimate power saver mode and it uh, uh, allows you to uh, only uh, enable the call functionality and sms functionality and uh, everything is turned off and the battery saver is also available in this phone and uh, here is some power consumption details uh, shown in uh, in this section and uh, you can see how much of your hardware is using your battery and uh, it is the typical android uh, battery consumption chart so the next thing is the developer option and the good thing is the oem is unlocked so you can uh, unlock the bootloader from the developer options so uh, here is all in the settings section guys Thanks for watching this video. If you like our video, do give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, do give us a thumbs down. And uh, peace out.